hello guys welcome 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 to this video my name is mr paula and thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for all your support now today we're gonna be finishing off the rest of this paper in the last video we did um, this paper as you can see the highlighted questions so today we're gonna be going down and try to finish this paper so if you have any questions please do make sure that you just write them in the comment section and i'll see if i can reply to you also some people have asked me for this paper also i have access to the newest things that you need to read so that you'll be able to pass so i think i'll leave my number the number is down there you can just up me and we'll see how how best i can send to send it to you uh, so i understand that you might need um, driving diagrams you might need uh, the new diagrams you may need everything new so that you may actually be able to read and you actually know what's coming so the point the whole point is to know what's coming and to read what is coming so it's not just everything that is just circulating some of the things that are outdated so you really need to know what is um what is new and what is current and what is trending in the driving arena so yes what i'm teaching you is what is new so uh, thank god for me right okay so today we're going to be looking at this paper so i urge you to bear with me here so now let's begin okay this question says in which circumstances would i proceed against a red robot okay so we're talking about the red robot here so let me just underline that so that we know here you are proceeding against a red robot in which circumstance option a when there is no traffic approaching so we're saying that uh, let's say that uh, there is no traffic approach would you cross a red robot even though there is no traffic definitely this is incorrect right so even though you might see uh, other cars doing that in the middle of the night let's say that the road are clear you might see a, tra uh, a car that is going through a red robot so that's not um that's not lawful actually if a policeman catches you doing that it doesn't matter what time of day it is or the road is clear or not it just means that you are doing things against the law so you the policeman has a right to what to arrest you or things like that so just know that this one is incorrect now let's look at the other one when the road is clear on the right definitely incorrect right so the only scenario that you are allowed to cross or to proceed against a red robot is when there is a green arrow is illuminated in the direction that you want to travel so this one is our correct answer so just know that if the green arrow is illuminated in the direction that you want to travel you can proceed against that red robot now let's say the green arrow is illuminated is illuminated and the green arrow is pointing straight then that means that if you are going straight you can proceed against that what that red robot right now let's say the green arrow is illuminated and it is pointing to the right it means that if you are going to the right you can proceed i have heard a lot of citizens um uh, mistaking about this but this is a very simple one okay just know that whatever direction the green arrow is pointing at that's the car that should go not if the green arrow is pointing to the right it means that car is going to the right should proceed if you are going to the left you are not to proceed if you are going to the uh, straight you are not to proceed and the green arrow is to be pointing upwards which means that going straight only going straight should proceed i hope i've made that clear now let's move on to the next question right a broken yellow line on the left hand side of the road indicates so yeah you're talking about a broken yellow line so what does a yellow line indicates a yellow line indicates right uh, the edge of the road right okay. a broken yellow line um demarcates the end of the, the edge of the road right so let's look at our answers a broken yellow line on the left hand side of the road indicates option a may be crossed to overtake traffic which is turning right through right may be straddled to overtake cyclists definitely not right may not be straddled so here we are talking about a broken yellow line right so it definitely may be straddled okay so this one is incorrect so 
there are two instances that you should just uh, straddle a broken yellow line first when you are overtaking traffic that is turning to the right right then uh, secondly is when you want to stop so you pull off the road you uh, remember i said the broken yellow line um, demarcates the edge of the road the, these are the lines that are found at the edge of the road right remember there is the white line that is found on the center uh, the, that white line can either be broken which means you can straddle it you can overtake or it can be what continuous when it is continuous it means that you should not what should not a uh, straddle or overtake then um so we have the yellow line at the edges and these demarcates the edge of the road this tell the um you can only start with the broken yellow line when you are overtaking traffic that is turning to the right or when you want to pull off to stop now moving on to the next question a motor vehicle may tow option a any number of trailers definitely that's not that's not correct right b a motor vehicle may tow a vehicle of any size if it is able definitely that's not correct right c a motor vehicle may tow a vehicle only if it has good brakes okay so a motor vehicle may tow a vehicle only if it has good brakes so this one is our correct answer now moving on to the next question if involved in a serious accident i must option a report to the police within 24 hours now this is the most correct answer here so the moment you're involved in a serious accident the law requires that you you report to the police or report your case or tell your story to the police within the near within the nearest 24 hours so just to report to the police okay now move on to the next question which car stops now here we have three cars here car a car b and car c right now just by looking at this let me just zoom in so that you can clearly have a look at this one this one is a simple one okay so um, car a car b and car c right now just by looking at this you can see that car c has already crossed the intersection right so car c is not the car to stop so because it's no we are no longer considering it because it has already crossed the intersection now we are left with these two cars and these two cars we have a um, car a in car b now just by looking at this we need to understand which car is at the right of which because we can see that if you look at it from this perspective where my pointer is going up right you can see that car a is on the right of car b but if you look at it from the point that we look at my case where my case is going down you can see that um car b is on the right of car a therefore you need to look at it from the direction where the cars are coming from to where the cars are going definitely the cars are going down right so we need to be here where my case is looking down right so if you are looking down from where my case is you can see that car b is at your right car a is at your left right so we definitely mean that car b is the one to the right so definitely the car to stop has to be car a I get a lot of people students confused about this because they don't know which uh, from which direction to look at a white diagram white diagram is very tricky i understand because um you don't necessarily know which car is at the right of which you just need to consider the directions where the cars are going okay and you you place yourself there and you face that direction don't face the direction against where the cars are going face the direction where the cars are going the cars are going down here so you need to be here and you need to face the direction where the cars are going so which definitely tells you that car b is at the right definitely car b is the right of way and is not the car to stop also a lot of students get confused when we say which car stops what does it mean uh, when you say which car stops it just saying that which car gives the right of way or does not have the right of way okay so you really need to know the terms which car moves first it means that which car is the right of way okay now moving on to the next question which car moves last at this intersection we have car c car a and car b right now just by looking at this you can see that car c gives the right way to car a and car a to car b now if car b is the right of way can car b proceed yes car b can proceed right being followed by car c because they are in the same role so they move at the same time so car c will take advantage so the last car to move yes to be car a so just uh, take note that uh, car c will take advantage of the movement of car b 
So his car B moves here, car C will also take advantage, and the last car to go is to be car A. So car B does not move last. So remember, when you are saying the car that moves last, move last here, so let me just highlight that moves last, we are talking about the car that does not have the right of way. Okay. Now, uh, moving on to the next question. Which car goes last? Now here, I want you to play close attention. We are looking at the car that goes last. When you talk about car that goes last, you are talking about the car that does not have the right of way. Now, this one is a very simple one because you can just see that car B is facing a giveaway sign. So when you are facing a giveaway sign, it definitely means that you, can, you go last, right? So car B is the car to go last. We don't need to spend much time on questions like this. Even if you are in an exam, don't spend much time on questions like this. When you see that car goes last, we are talking about the car that gives the right of way or the car that does not have the right of way. So just look at your car diagram. Is there any car that is facing a giveaway sign or a stop sign? So these two signs, a giveaway sign and a stop sign, that means that the, these are the cars to go last. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. A clutch is used to. Now a clutch is the pedal that um, that is if operated by your what by your left foot right so a clutch what is a clutch used to option a increase vehicle speed that's incorrect right because we use the what the accelerator to increase the vehicle speed decrease vehicle speed now we use the brakes for this one Avoid noise when changing gear. So this one is our correct answer here. So diverging lanes means, so I talk about diverging lanes here. So what does diverging lanes mean? Option A, two lanes becoming one. That's converging, right? So when two, let me just give you a, a visual, um, visual aid so that you can understand it two lanes right two lanes becoming one right so that's it two lanes becoming one then one lane becoming two so guys uh that's the end of this video so i really hope you have understood anything if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section and i will help you the be how best i can so thank you so much guys if you really are interested in learning more just add me and you see how best we can help each other so i hope to see you and i hope to see you pass and i hope to be hearing a lot about you and how you've gone and passed and so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video goodbye